Is it working? Yay, it's working. Hello, everybody. Computer's really slow today. Um, I hope you're all well today. Um, this might be kind of a short one. Um, we're, we're kind of understaffed today, so um, I have to do this kind of quick. I'm sorry. But today I was going to do monsters. I have my Halloween shirt on. The Return of Vampire. It's a kitty. So, um, But I have some monster books here with me. The first one I'm going to do is, if you don't like monsters, if you're afraid of monsters, this one is Go Away, Big Green Monster. And it's uh, kind of telling you how not to be afraid. Big Green Monster has two big yellow eyes. And a long bluish greenish nose. And a big red mouth with some sharp mm. white teeth. Two little squiggly ears. Scraggly purple hair. I want some purple hair. And a big scary green face. Rawr. But, but, you don't scare me, so go away, scraggly purple hair. And this is the funny part, I think, when you start to take him apart and he looks silly. Let's make him bald. Blip. No hair for you. He kind of looks like Shrek now. Shrek isn't scary. Go away, your two squiggly little ears. We'll make you a pumpkin head. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. I was picking his nose. Ah. No, he looks like a frog with teeth. Go away, big green face. No, he's just like, ah. Go away, big red mouth. <laughs> go away, sharp white teeth. And go away, you two big yellow eyes. Boink. Go away, big green monster. And don't come back until I say so. Because sometimes monsters are fun. I have a fun book about monsters called Even Monsters Need Haircuts. Frankenstein needs a little off the top. My dad is a barber. Whoops. I like to watch him work. I'm a barber, too. Tonight will be a full moon. I'll need to get to bed early. Just before midnight, I hear a soft tapping sound. Vlad is waiting for me at the window. I wonder who Vlad the Bat is. I grab my pack and climb down the tree and together we cross the fields into town. I'm not allowed out of the house alone, but I'm not alone. Vlad is with me. Can you see what the bat turns into? Shum, 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 shum. Vlad is Dracula. Soon we arrive at the alley behind the shop. I have a skeleton key. I unpack my supplies, the rotting tonic, the horn polish, the stink wax go on the counter, the champ eu goes next to the sink. I tuck the moon powder into my pocket right next to my tangling brush and I'm ready to begin. Around 12.30, Igor wanders in. By one o'clock, the shop is full. I'm going to be busy tonight. We've got mummies and swamp monsters, and he's got three heads. It looks like the Lego heads that we stack together. All kinds of monsters. Oh my goodness, spider! I guess that's a Spider-Man. Ha! <laughs> Some customers are easy. Snip. Some are a little more difficult. Some always get the same thing. Some always want to try something new. Medusa getting her snake sprayed. And with some customers, it's tough to know exactly what they want. Things are going well. Everyone is getting along. And then it happens. There is a knock at the front door. No one ever knocks on the front door. They all know to come to the back. Who would it be? It is a customer, a human customer. 
We never, ever had human customer before. What are we going to do? Nobody moves as the man walks to the barber chair. I'm nervous, more nervous than I have ever been. You see where all the lighting? Boop. There's a skeleton lamp. There's a guy over here. There's some, there's Vlad. <laughs> guy under the chair. Ooh. And then he asked me, can you take a little off the top? Ah, we all have a good laugh over that one. The sun will be up soon and the monsters have to go. We sweep up the shop. We flip back the pictures and turn out the lights. It's important that we don't leave anything behind. Some of the guys give me a ride home. See you next month, I shout. Soon my dad will be waking up to go to work. He has his own customers to be taken care of. After all, even humans need haircuts. Uh-oh. Can you see what he left something behind? Rotting tonic. What's going to happen if you put some rotting tonic on someone's head? I think there's another one. Monster lotion. Ooh. I don't think it's going to go well for his next customer. I have a few terrible jokes. <laughs> I have my monster jokes. Let me tell you a few terrible jokes really quick. Why don't monsters eat clowns? Why wouldn't a monster eat a clown? I have something in my eye. Because they taste funny. <laughs> uh, why doesn't the vampire have many friends? Because he's a pain in the neck. Ah, vampires bite you in the neck. One more. Let me see. What does the cyclops eat for the dessert? A cyclops only has one eye. What does the cyclops eat for dessert? Ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Okay, they're terrible, but I love them. Let me show you your craft. I have bags full of just random stuff so you can make monsters. Here's my monster. You don't have to make yours exactly like mine. They're all different. I used uh, Miss Shannon's uh, Darcy mouse pad her kitty cat to make the bodies. <laughs> so they have a little lumpy shape and there's different things like pom poms and feathers and sequins and noodles and different amounts of eyeballs. Like mine has three, some has four, some have eight. There's all different random stuff in there. So you can make your own monster. And when you do take a picture, let us see what kind of monster you made. This is just the one that I made and I'm going to hang them up here where the bags where you can pick them up. So share your monster pictures with us. And um, also don't forget, we're still going to do our uh, virtual Halloween parade. If you have any pictures of you in Halloween costumes, it doesn't have to be from this year. If you have any old Halloween pictures of you in costumes, your kids in costumes, your pets in costumes, share them with us um, through Facebook Messenger or drop them off here at the library before Friday so we can get a video together so we can do a virtual Halloween parade and you can share all your photos and you can see all your friends in town what they uh, costumes they have. And I will see you next week for our Halloween story time. Whee! It's my favorite. Okay. Bye, guys.